You know, it's, this is a crazy realization that you're probably not getting the most out of your internet just because of your router. The numbers don't lie. Hi there, my name is Ali from Ungeek and today we're gonna try to test out the future of Wi-Fi in your home, the TP-Link Archer BE230. But before we start with the specs of this massive beast of a router, <laughs> It's actually not that big, which is ironic because you're, if you're thinking about Wi-Fi 7, you're thinking of the big beefy boys. Now, this is smaller than I expected. When this came in the mail, I was just like, what, what? In this small package? Which by the way, I completely love. So let's unbox this thing. All right, let's unbox this thing. Again, I thought it was gonna be way bigger when TP-Link initially was going to send it out. It's tiny and it, it's, it's light, which is a great thing, by the way. I don't have space at home. I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> and we're gonna open it over here. Look at that. Ooh wee. <sighs> Been waiting for you for a long time now. Wait, what? Legit, that's it. Okay, so <laughs> I know the box is heavy and a lot of the, the cushion that it has actually just gives so much weight to it, but the actual unit itself is even smaller than I thought upon looking at the box. What the heck? Look. It is so light and it's really thin too. It's like almost the size of a Nintendo Switch and about the same weight or maybe even lighter by a bit. See that? It's thin. That's so cool. Honestly, that's it, it's really cool with all of that tech in this little thing. All right, so we got the unit itself. We're gonna put it right here. You got your manuals, the installation guide, which you have to go through when you're using this. The Wi-Fi info card, tech support guide, and essentially there's just really not much of the instruction book. Saving a lot of that paper, which is great, by the way, which means what they want us to know is that this installation is very easy. I don't know of anything about installing Wi-Fi as much. I've only really tried it a few times, but that's the whole point of this system is that it's so easy to use. Ethernet cable already provided. That's cool. Um, by the way, for you to kind of get the benefits of Wi-Fi 7, especially if you're going to be hooking this up to your laptop PC, make sure you have the right LAN cable. I actually bought the category 6 or cat 6 LAN cable for this video, which I'll be using at home because mine was dying and was not cat 6. All right, next up, power adapter. And that's really it. That's literally it. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna put the instructions, the installation guide. Yeah, I mean, it's so easy. It's really just, just that. All right, we're gonna start out the list with one of the biggest reasons why you should get this, the 3.6 Gbps dual band Wi-Fi 7, and yes, Wi-Fi 7. I know, I know Wi-Fi 7 is kind of like a hot topic right now because there's just a lot of not only routers that are available, but also devices that are starting to become Wi-Fi 7 compatible, which we'll be testing later on. But what does this mean? It means that you're basically gonna have top of the line, fastest connectivity as a consumer with 4K and 8K streaming compatible for also AR and VR gaming, which you already know a lot of companies are geared towards to achieving in the next few years. You already saw companies like Apple dabble into the AR, VR space. So one thing that you also can look forward to, which we'll be testing later on, is the download and upload speeds. And we're gonna test that with a Wi-Fi 7 compatible device. Okay, so let's move on to the different ports that you'll see behind here. Starting off with a WAN port, the wide area network port that supports 2.5 Gbps. Alongside it is a LAN port that is also 2.5 Gbps. So it's one each, but then if you're seeing the other LAN ports over here, these three are one Gbps. So for maximum internet coverage, 
Perfect for high data transmissions and very much perfect for a content creator like myself that just transfers so much data every single day. Moving on to the antennas, we have four antennas here that has beam forming. And what does this crazy name stand for? What I like to kind of describe beam forming is they're like fly swatters, right? And the flies are the different signals that you don't want. And so beam forming essentially just swats away unwanted signals and just absolutely focuses on the signals that you want, which is your Wi-Fi giving you really reliable connectivity from basically anywhere in your house. What an interesting uh, metaphor that I have for this one, but it gives you a really reliable connection than ever before. This is also Easy Mesh compatible. You don't really see it here, but it's definitely in there. What is Easy Mesh? It's not just exclusive to TP-Link, but to other companies as well. So if you do have a different router, TP-Link could essentially connect to another repeater of a different brand as long as it is Easy Mesh compatible. Essentially, when you're moving around from different places of your house, you're not gonna be dropping any Wi-Fi signal. In today's world, there's a lot of baddies out there trying to get your information or trying to get into your tech, which you don't want. Good thing that TP-Link also has a way to defend yourself from these cyber attacks. With the TP-Link Home Shield, pretty cool because otherwise you'd have to pay other applications to protect your device, but this does it for you. And speaking of another thing that this has, which is by the way, super cool to me, it has its own VPN that you could connect in your household without having to download anything, which is so freaking cool. No applications, no other fees that you would have to pay for. It is also important to note that the Archer BE230 is still compliant with NTC's rules and regulations. Even though six gigahertz is not available yet in the Philippines, this still supports 2.4 and five gigahertz. So keep that in mind. You also have the MLO or multi-link operation where you can send and receive data simultaneously across different frequency bands. So it's not just like before where you have the 2.4 and five gigahertz where you can only connect to one of them. In Wi-Fi 7, you can connect to all of them simultaneously, which is so freaking cool. So yeah, that actually reduces latency and gives you more of a reliable connection all throughout your home or business. How to install your Wi-Fi 7 101 by Ali from Ungeek. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing, but that's the point. It's easy to install. While I am installing it, let's talk about the reason why six gigahertz is just like the future of Wi-Fi. Essentially, the six gigahertz bands opens up a new airway for signals to be in. And that allows a whole array, a whole spectrum to allow more connections, which is really important because nowadays you have so much devices that are connected to the Wi-Fi, and it's not just one device, right? One person owns multiple devices. Right now I have like five devices that otherwise I could connect. If your router cannot support that, then you're not utilizing the speed of your internet. So now we have 2.4 and five gigahertz, and a lot of the time it actually gets congested, especially if you have like a lot of people in your house or you have a business, that people like connecting Wi-Fi to, which is, by the way, great for your business. So yeah, with our ever-growing tech needs, it is really essential to have a reliable device like this. Let's power this up. Right now, since I did route it on this thingy, my bopper, I'm now downloading the TP-Link Tether app, which lets you set up your router, which is cool. All right, let's see how that goes. But I do have a... Cat6 LAN cable that can connect to my Wi-Fi, which we'll try also later on. All right, so we just applied our settings. I renamed the Wi-Fi and also added my password as well. And this is how it should look like in your application. So yes, we're now optimizing your Wi-Fi performance, which I need to start connecting my Wi-Fi 7 compatible device as well, because not a lot of devices are compatible to Wi-Fi 7, 
but it was announced in January that Wi-Fi 7 devices can be sold. So it's really interesting now how so many devices, because it really started with a Samsung S24 Ultra to be the only phone that is compatible. But now there's like a growing list of different ones, including the one I have over here, the Asus ROG Phone 8. All right, so I think I should be able to connect multiple devices as well. So I think this is the time that we can do our little speed check. All right, so it's time to connect all of my devices now. So far though, I really just wanted to test one device, which is the Asus. This is the only device that I have that supports Wi-Fi 7. And I'm gonna disconnect my phone. So essentially, only one device via Wi-Fi is connected to the Beef Mami Wi-Fi. And we're gonna be doing the speed test now. Okay. All right, so we're gonna be Taking the what the freak? All right, okay, okay, what? All right, so I did a speed test comparing the two routers and I'm gonna pull up the numbers real quick because the numbers speaks for itself, bruh. The difference is almost half and that's really impressive to see, especially with just the same ISP, the same internet connection, different router can just make such a huge difference. So apart from my home testing, TP-Link also tested the Archer BE230's lower latency using Intel BE200, showing a significant three times decrease. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much, TP-Link, for sending over the Archer BE230. It has been an absolute blast to go and test out. I'm also excited what other companies can release Wi-Fi 7 compatible devices in the upcoming months. Definitely looking forward to that. Again, it's your girl, Ali from Ungeek, and I'll see you in the next video.